Today topics, Turkey President Erdogan threatens Greece with war. EU Vice President Eva Kaili was arrested by police for corruption. Zambian killed in Ukraine was a prisoner recruited by Wagner Group in Russia. Ukraine advancing in Melitopol. I am Bob Sankarian. Subscribe to this channel to incentivize us to keep bringing top quality geopolitical news update across the world to you. And I will make sure you enjoy every second of the time you spend with me in my show. Thanks for watching. Turkish President Recep Erdogan threatens Greece with war. He says the Greece government is scared because now they have a missile capable of reaching Athens. Athens is Greece's capital. And Greece responds by saying that Erdogan is like King Jong-un from North Korea. Turkey developed a new ballistic missile, which they named Typhoon, um, capable of reaching the capital of Greece, Athens. And Erdogan says in his... Um, in his own word, quoting, the Greek says he can hit Athens, Erdogan says. Of course it will. If you don't stay calm, if you try to buy things from the United States and other places to harm uh, the island, a country like Turkey has to do something. And Greece has been putting um, heavy weapons on the Aegean islands, which uh, angers Turkey, of course. And the month of October, Turkey engineers test fire short range ballistic missiles over their Black Sea border. And the missile nicknamed Typhoon can reach a target of 561 kilometers, which is 349 miles in a matter of 7.6 minutes. It's two times faster than the current missile in Turkey's arsenal. Bora missile is the second faster missile in their arsenal. So recently, Turkey is investing in a huge effort to build up domestic defense products. From six generation unmanned fighter jets to indigenous battle tanks, uh, artillery pieces, and drones, Turkey and Greece went to war in August of 1922 over 100,000 Turks soldiers against 200,000 Greek soldiers. The war lasted 24 bloody days and Turkey crushed the Greek soldiers, forcing them to retreat. Erdogan is frustrated with uh, Greece uh, militarizing its islands close to Turkey borders, especially Aegean islands. Greece and Turkey are both NATO members, so if you guys remember, but their governments um, ate each other. And many times US and uh, had to intervene to avoid war between Turkey and Greece. There are potential pre uh, petroleum and gas resources in the East Mediterranean Sea which Turkey claimed to be theirs, and Greece did the same. And last week, Tur Turkey's foreign minister uh, warned Greece to withdraw military equipment from Aegean islands or face consequences. Recently, Greece called upon NATO to force Turkey to stop uh, this type of inflammatory rhetoric, or otherwise there will be another Ukraine-like war in Europe. And Erdogan also says that um, Turkey can take over Greece in one night when the times come. All right? And Greece's foreign minister, Nikos uh, Dendias, says in a statement that it is unacceptable and universally condemnable for the threat of the missile attack against Greece to be made by an allied country, a NATO member. European Union Vice President. Eva Kaili was arrested by police for corruption. So European Parliament Vice President Eva Kaili arrested and charged with corruption. Um, few others including former MEP Pierre Antonio Penzeri also charged with illicit lobbying by Qatar to host 2022 World Cup. Belgian prosecutors opened an investigation into an alleged illicit influence campaign by the Kingdom of Qatar to host, to be able to host the World, World Cup. It is believed that these MPs within the EU Parliament 
were bribed with large amount of cash to influence Parliament's decision. The Belgian federal prosecutor spokespersons said in a statement. Well, let's see what's going to happen uh, with this case. If they are going to, to be found guilty or let go free to keep doing what they do best, which is stealing from and killing citizens from developing countries across the world. That's what they do the best. Zambian killed in Ukraine was a prisoner recruited by Wagner Group in, in Russian prison. Lemek Hani near Renda agreed to join the Russian invasion of Ukraine in exchange for amnesty or freedom. The imprisoned Zambian student in Russia had been pardoned for drug trafficking charge when he decided to join uh, the clash in Ukraine. He was killed on the front line and fighting, fighting for Russian arm. Zambia's foreign minister, um, Stanley Kakubu, says that he was informed by his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov, that Lemekani Nairenda received um, pardon on August 23rd and taken to the front lines of Luans and to fight Ukrainian army. I'm Bob Sankarian. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.